Okay, so now we're going to go through setting up the Airvo. So this is the equipment that you'll need. We've got the Airvo circuit, the water for humidification, some green oxygen tubing, two sets of junior prongs, bearing in mind that the yellow prongs aren't suitable for use on Airvo, and then there are um, adult prongs. These come in small, medium and large. We've got the kit out of the packet. First things first, I'm going to take the humidifier chamber. You need to take the blue bit off um, and then take the wire off the top comes with a little gadget that helps set it up and it'll only fit one way um, which slides on top of your humidification chamber so to put this in you're going to push down on the blue bar and then you're going to slide it in to get the two tubes to connect until it clicks in and then that's connected this is the patient end and then this is going to go on top of the um, airvo machine so if you pull back the blue collar so when connecting the flow tubing to the airvo, you want to make sure that you've got the top end with the two spikes going in to where the two points are there. You can lift the blue collar up, slide it down gently. Don't force it, it should just slide on easily. And then click the blue collar into place. So once you've connected up everything, we're going to push a power button to turn that machine on. It's going to run through a set of self-checks and come through to a traffic light. What you want to make sure is that the traffic light is green, that means the machine has been cleaned between patients and is ready for use. So once that noise has gone and you've got a tick, then you're ready to set the machine for what you want for your patient. You can see on the screen you've got the temperature, the flow, and the oxygen. But if you press the play button, it will scroll through these each individually. So the temperature is automatically set at 34 degrees, but if you wanted to change this up to 37, if you push and hold the two arrows together, it will unlock the padlock, and then you can scroll up or down. With this set of prongs, it only allows you to have it at 34 degrees. With other prongs, it will allow you to increase the temperature. If you press play, it will accept the, what you've requested. Once it's locked, you press play again to scroll through the menu. The blue one is the flow. Again, push the up and down arrows to unlock and then you can scroll up to set the flow appropriate for your patient and appropriate for the size of the prongs. Press play to accept. When you scroll through into the oxygen, the oxygen isn't controlled on the screen. The oxygen is controlled by the flow meter. So if you turn on your flow of oxygen, it has a analyzer inside it and it will give you a percent oxygen percentage once you've turned the oxygen on of how much percentage you're providing to your patient. And so that will scroll up once the oxygen is provided. And then play takes you back to the screen. Um, and this will continue like this. Any warning signs will come up on the screen if there's any problems with a leak or an occlusion, an alarm at you. As you can see, the numbers have gone up and it's looking for leaks. Check your circuit, solve the problem. The silence button should take the alarm away once it's happy. And again, it will beep at you when it's ready to go again. If you're going to use the adult prongs, then the way to change it between the two modes, so you know that you're in paediatric mode, remember, because the bird and the butterfly are on the screen. If you want to change the adult mode, you push and hold play. It will beep, and then the bird and the butterfly will leave the screen. That now means that you're in adult mode, and that you can um, now put the adult prongs on and go to higher flows. If you were to use the higher flows, remember that you need to come back onto the flow meter that's attached to the airvo stand to give you higher oxygen flow limits.